What is going on, you peepsicles? How you doing? I'm here back at the house and we are working on plumbing. Okay? Uh, previous video. Although I don't know if I showed you. Yes, I did. They were working on the roof and that got completed right before the, wow, that's really washed out, but let me see if I can adjust that. Whoop. Look at that. It's a winter wonderland, a winter wonderland. Boom. We got the roof on right before the winter wonderland came, uh, which is great because it also rained right before it snowed. And now we got the barn or the house kind of cleaned up, uh, but there's obviously some snow in here, but we're working on plumbing. I got my boy Ben over here. Hey, say hey Ben. Hey Ben. He's such a clown saying things like that. Gosh, this is YouTube. Um, he's working on making the sand tees right on top of the on the on the pipes we got sticking out for all the sinks and stuff. And I'm gonna be working on the dryer. Um, sorry, washer waste. All right. I stuck, as you remember in the previous video, I stuck some uh, I stuck some pipe out for the venting out there. Um, the other day, right for the roofers so they could put their boots on. Uh, and so, yeah, we're ready to go. We just need to connect up to it. So we got all of our goodness laid out here on these sawhorses. A bunch of fittings, got a bunch of pipe, got a bunch of pecs, got a bunch of everything. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Anyway, stay tuned. It's coming at you. Had to run to the store because need more pipe fitting and everything else. So tip, get more than you need, always. You can always return it. Um, but so far, we're making progress. Look at that, first pipe up. Booyah I'm, work I'm working on the uh, washer here. Already got this bad boy put in place. Got my P-trap. Boom, boom, boom. And, uh, yeah. Also got heat. Get yourself one of these heaters. It's cold out here, folks. As Ben is taking off his coat, making me look like a big old sissy. The heaters work. The heater works, I guess. I mean, that's all going up into the ceiling, uh, as far as I can understand. But when you're standing right above it, it works great. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm gonna work on this. I just bring my chop saw, but it's all good. go there we go P trap coming into this box for the washer and then all I got to do is vent up connect over to what Ben's been doing and and then we go straight up there yeah all right we have made some good progress. 
Uh, it's day number two. Um, so I wrapped up that day with Ben, my buddy. And I appreciate your help, Ben. I know you're watching because you are such a big fan. Um, he's probably not watching. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, we got this whole side of the house done. So if you take a look, sees. Uh, let me turn this around. Boom. We got the plumbing for the dryer and, well, not dryer, but the washer machine. Booyah shaka. Okay. P trap roop down here. Vents all the way up. It, it uh, elbows over. Connects. Connects over there in a T. And then it connects my sink double sink here or two sinks in the bath master bathroom they connect up over and over and then uh oh gosh i'm probably like making you guys throw up but yeah connects over here zoop connects here in a t comes down to this sink for this uh little uh, bathroom that we have in the hallway all right and then goes straight up and out three inch pipe uh, up out of the roof. So we got this whole side of the of the house, the master bat master bedroom side um, of the house. The other thing we got to do is kind of three sections that we need to do. This, the bonus room. So up here, you go up these little uh, stairways to heaven, right? And there's a bathroom up there, which under in the garage here, it's basically right here. Uh, which I need to kind of plan out, measure out where the sink, shower, and toilet are going to be so that I can stub things up and then connect down into here where my, um, my three inch pipe goes down into the, into the ground. I got a radon pipe that I also need to come up and around and, and out through the roof for radon gases. Um, and what that looks like for those that don't know um, basically this three inch pipe goes down into the slab in the aggregate where the uh, you know the uh, <laughs> rocks gravel yikes um, go down and there's a Y just a Y an open Y that allows for radon gases to to come into that Y and up through this pipe and out through the roof so we can expel radon gases because ain't nobody want that Shoot, I want no stinky radon up in here. Um, what else? Ah, then we go on to the other side of the house, over here, to where, uh, well, the other, <laughs> we call it the West Wing, because this house is so huge, it's 7,000 square feet. No, I'm just kidding, it's not. Um, but there's a bathroom over here, okay? There's a double sink here, one, one pipe, which is fine. All I need to do is get a, um, Santee out of this guy, vent up and out through the roof over there. Okay, let's see if I can swoop. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, then I got a shower, bathtub, bathtub shower combo with a vent pipe that needs to come up. There's gonna be a double wall here. Once I get my shower in here, framers are gonna come back, put the double wall in here. Uh, or the extra wall for the whatever once I set this all that goodness So that's gonna meet up and connect over here other thing outdoor kitchen y'all know I'm excited about the outdoor kitchen um, I got a pipe right here for that same thing you got to do a, a Santee have it stub outside um, and connect to the venting system over here and then we're golden brown we got all of our waste and vent done Okay, and then uh, what's left is running the water lines. So that is, that's, that's also not too, not too difficult. So we're gonna continue on. I got a free day off, uh, which I'm happy about. Uh, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. It's morning, my wife and kids are gonna come later. They're gonna continue to kind of clean up. It's a lot cleaner in here than it was before. I'm so thankful for her to, to, to be able to do that. And, um, but there's a little more to, to clean yet. So she's gonna come and clean. Kids are gonna hang out, play in the snow while it's still around because it's gonna be 40 degrees today and this is gonna melt into be a mud pit again. So we'll see by the time they get here if there's any snow to play in. Um, 
yeah anyway let's get to work I'm gonna do a little more and uh, I'll show you what I come up with here in a little bit once uh, once we get on getting on if you know what I'm saying <laughs> Okay, bye. Okay, one thing. Uh, notice this pipe is sticking not straight out of the wall. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to heat it up. A little trick of the plumbing trade. Uh, I'm going to heat it up with this bad boy. And, and then bend it kind of a little more straight. And not set the house on fire. So <laughs> let's try that. Okay, okay. It's too tight between this whole area. I got no, I got no area to work with. There's a two by six right here. There's um, house wrap right there. Mm, we might not be able to do it, folks. I might just have to cut it low, couple it, and bring it higher. Well, whatever. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care that that didn't work. All right. Well, you guys learn from my mistakes. If there's not enough room to work around the pipe to heat it up slowly without burning the thing then then you got to just do what I'm doing right now couple it and you know yeah just it's gonna be in the way gosh dangle hoppers anyway I'm gonna cut it couple it and then bring up my Santee to the right height that I want <sighs> yeah it's a little chilly Kind of crooked. There we go. What a beaut. Boom, couple that bad boy up. Swoop did scoop. Boom, all right, let's see if that uh, lines up at about 15 and a half on the outside. Oh, she's a beaut. It is noise. Okay, got quite a bit done since uh, I turned this camera on. So, one thing, here's the thing. Framers, you know, they put up these supports, uh, bracings and things like that to support the roof and all that goodness. It's in my way, so I gotta kinda swerve over. Um, so that guy is coming out the wall, or it will be once I get a, a fitting that goes out. But gotta swoop over, come up, up to there. It's gonna turn over here. Whoa. It comes up. It connects to this guy right here, same deal. Had to kind of swoop over because you got so much stuff in the way. Now I need a T-fitting, and this is the thing about plumbing, dudes. You do one thing, you account for this and this and that, but then you find out, oh, I gotta go around this obstacle, I gotta go around that obstacle, and so then you use all your fittings. So now I gotta go around to the store real quick, grab a few more fittings, and then I will be done with this. I'll connect it out to that pipe right there. Um, and we'll be done with this side of the house. And then we can go work on the bonus room plumbing. That, I kind of just did some rough calculations here and I shouldn't have to go work around too much, uh, which I think I already accounted for and I got the pieces I need for uh, to, to grab from the store. So, we're good there. I'm gonna go quickly to the store, come right back, finish up, and get it going. Okay, <laughs> see you in a little bit. Okay, one thing I want you to, one thing I want to share, um, one of these pipes is a radon pipe, and one of them is the pipe for, uh, for waste. And obviously the radon pipe goes nowhere, it goes into the, into the aggregate under the slab, and the other one goes into the waste and goes to the septic. Now, the thing is, I don't necessarily trust my plumber, and I don't remember exactly which one. He kinda, I think he labeled one, uh, but the label was kinda coming off with the marker, and I thought it was, so, 
one thing I decided to do was like, hey, if it's truly the system, in the system, right, if it's working its way through all the waste uh, piping that's under the slab, then technically I should be able to hear like you ever go to the playground remember when you as a kid and you were like there was these things that like pipes you could like talk to people all the way across the playground well that's what i'm going to do to find out and make sure which one's which i already talked into that one i didn't hear very much now i closed it and i put my music into this one okay and then i went over here stuck my ear into here. Let's see if you can hear it. You hear that? I hear it. I hear it. We got it. So just to confirm, because the last thing I want to do is start running waste into the aggregate under the slab. All right, one thing, don't obviously don't let your phone fall in, but hey, there's a little trick for y'all, okay? So now that I know which one is which, I'm happy, I'm confident. Um, before I wasn't so confident, um, but now I'm super confident. Anyway, <laughs> you're welcome. I'm gonna just close out this video, uh, but uh, appreciate y'all hanging out. Uh, I got more plumbing to do, obviously. What the, what the junk is going on here? Okay, whatever, anyway. Uh, I got more plumbing to do. Didn't quite get it all done like I wanted to this weekend, but that's okay. It is what it is, okay. But I think I have everything I need so I don't have to run to the store again uh, to, to do, get more plumbing, piping and fittings and all that. But uh, yeah, the sun's going down, so I'm gonna wrap up, try to get uh, some things put away before it gets too dark. And we'll leave this for another day. I'll come back to it, uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, after work, we'll see. Anyway, follow along if you wanna see more of the house build. Uh, we got more to come. Um, I think I'm, I mean, I'll probably have to do more plumbing, so maybe you'll see some more plumbing. Uh, also, follow along as we build the bar dominium uh, i want to show you guys some of the exciting stuff going on over there as well starting to lay down floors tiling up showers and all that goodness so yeah digging it digging it making a lot of progress um but uh yeah hit that subscribe hit that thumbs up hit that whatever there is to hit you hit it <laughs> go hit the person next to you okay i don't care uh, anyway, <laughs> y'all take it easy. Till next time. Peace.